everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we're gonna do page two and page three and we're gonna do these side by side because the panels are trimmed out the same. So these are, um, that's page two and this is page three. So they're going to mirror each other and let me give you the measurements for these. So they're eight inches tall and you are going to put a tick mark at two And four and a half, two and four and a half. And that again, I'm using my triangle to kind of keep consistent with the angles, even though I may be changing the size of the panels. So you're gonna put a tick mark at two and one at uh, four, and um, that is after you fold in your hinge, okay? You're going to get two of those. One is gonna go on um, page two and one is going to go on page three and I forgot to put the tape on so we'll do that right now. If you're new to the channel this is my handy dandy tape tear tool that I cannot live without and we sell them in our shop at www.scrapandcreate.com and while I'm doing this I want to thank everybody for tuning in and really thank all our new subscribers. We've really grown a lot in the last month and I really appreciate that. And I'm sure it's because of comments, view time, and you guys are sharing and liking and all those things go a long way to help us keep this channel um, at the top of the list in terms of uh, YouTube sharing it with like-minded uh, crafters. Okay, so this is gonna go, um, both of these are gonna go toward the spine and they're gonna go flush with the edge of the, um, the pocket page. And I'm gonna go over that measurement one more time because it is a little bit different, but I think it's kind of cool. Um, I was really wanting to do something a little bit different. Okay, so again, you're gonna start with um, a panel that is four by eight, four by eight. Then you're going to put a tick mark at two and you're gonna come right down to the four and make that diagonal. You're gonna do that two times, one for page two and one for page three. So they're gonna look like this side by side. And then I'm gonna do some other stuff in here, but that's essentially the interactive component for um, page two and page three. I've got a little tape I gotta take off here. So that's it, I'll be back soon and we'll start decorating these. Oh, uh, we're going to, before I leave, we're gonna need um, a, ten, a 10 by seven, 10 by seven, you're gonna need two, one for each side. And we're gonna score it in half at five. So you have a 10, uh, a five by seven finished card. You want, you need one for the left and one for the right. And then on the inside for each one, we're gonna have an eight by six. You're gonna fold it in half. So you have a finished four by six card, one for each page. Okay. And uh, when I come back, we'll start decorating these. We're not gonna install them until we get our base backgrounds in and then we'll lay these on top. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Hey everyone, it's Daphne, and we are gonna start working on page two, page two. Okay, so as you recall, we installed the flap, and I've got some of my designer pick papers picked out. So the first thing we're gonna install is this large, uh, actually, no, I take that back. The first thing we're gonna do is install this piece right here, and then I'm gonna trim this one to fit if I need to. So. I have to try to remember how I came up with my slant. And yeah, I used this panel to create that angle. And yeah, so I think what I did is, I'll show you on another piece of paper, is I pushed the square edge under the, um, under the panel and then I lined it up top to bottom and then I drew a line, and that way I wouldn't be cutting off this part that I didn't need. And then I preserved that, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it, but I did set it aside in case I decide to use it uh, later for something else. Actually, this is the one that came off page three. Uh, I think, 
yeah, there it is, there's page two. So you can see, basically, I took the corner of my 12 by 12, and I had it go to the, the narrow corner, and then I drew my line. And then I set this aside. <clears throat> and I may use it someplace else. I'm not sure. At any rate, now I'm gonna turn it around, it's gonna get installed like this. And it doesn't really matter because there's no direction on this pattern per se. It isn't completely identical both ways, but I'm just gonna be consistent with page two. And I'm looking at it right now to see if that's true. Is that true? <clears throat> I'm sorry, I, I said page two, but I meant page three. So it's not. I think it is, I did do it. Didn't do it the same, I don't think. Yeah, so there's the little pumpkin head or whatever you wanna call it. So they are opposites, but even side by side, it's very hard to tell them apart. Page three goes like this, okay. So there's my flap. This is gonna go in, I'm gonna glue this first, and then that way I'll make any adjustments necessary on the larger piece. Sorry about that confusion. So it doesn't, the, the angle isn't that significant so long as it's consistent. So if you use the same angles as I did, then everything for your designer paper is always gonna be taken off the angle of the flap that you installed. And like I said, the Interactive components aren't what makes this sort of a technical album. It's the, um, it's cutting the diagonals, right? So that's where the challenge lies. So it's a little bit different than what I have done in the past. It's always fun to, you know, bring some new ideas to the table. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Okay. It looks like this is pretty close, but it looks like I could probably take off just a little bit off one edge. Oops. Okay, let's see. How's that look? Oh, that's better. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna ink this. I need to hold off on that because we're going to have a magnet. Okay, I'm going to hold off on that. This is going to get installed. I'm going to install it about an inch up from the bottom and about a half inch in from the side. So an inch up, half inch over. And I think I like that. Looks pretty good. So I'm going to draw some reference lines here. And I, I have this already planned, so let's go ahead and get it in. So that's where I'm pulling in uh, the rest of this pattern. And in the back is some typed words, and they're very faint, but make sure you're paying attention to them because this seems up upside down, but if you look at the words, it's not. <laughs> so pay attention to that. back and forth about this cover. Um, I wasn't sure I'm crazy about it because uh, I can't really add any embellishments, but I am gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and go with it. So again, we're gonna come up an inch and over a half inch, and I'm just using my grid to help me with that. 
I'm gonna put a little tick mark here on the back side. Hopefully I can see it. I can. That's one. And there's the other one. Okay. So. Yeah. Oh, I just thought of something. I'm going to do a little bit of um, embellishing. One of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to add this triangle. Let me tell you a little bit about it. I think I'm gonna have it go in on top, but this is two inches wide. And it's three and a half inches tall. So two inches wide, three and a half inches tall. I'm sorry. Yeah, three and a half inches tall. So what I did was I just made it two by three and a half. Then I found my center point and then I just cut from the edge of the two inch to my center point both times. I don't have a punch, so that's what I did. But if you have a punch, more power to you. Oops, I gotta get my line straight. That doesn't look straight. a little bit. Not too bad. Okay, I'm going to add a little glue here. Now I'm going to take this triangle, I made two of them with the same pattern, and it's just going to come down over this frame slightly. And I'm going to leave it open on the tip so that if you want to slip a photo under it, you can. And I'm just following the same line as the flap. Actually, needs to move over a little. Now I'm going to do the same thing down here. This one I'm going to glue all the way down. One more that I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna put here. But I'm just gonna set it there for the moment. Okay, that looks good. Clean up my mess a little. Oh, you know what? I can't do that. I can't do that. I just remembered because, oh yes I can, yes I can. I was gonna say it won't move with the rest of the panel, but it will. I'm gonna add a little bit more glue. No, it won't. I'm going to tuck it underneath. Um, I forgot this needs to open up. Sorry about that, guys. That's what I had originally planned, and I thought, well, why did I do that? Why don't I do this instead? So I'm just going to cut this and then tuck it under. There we go. So it's going to go right underneath this frame. or not frame, but underneath the card. There we go, lovely. Okay, so that's intact. I'm gonna put a 
dot of glue in there, hold everything together. Don't need that. Okay. Now, my, we can take a look at this and then figure out uh, where our magnet's gonna go. Make sure everything's looking good. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna put a magnet right here, I think. Yeah. Now, I gotta think about this. So this is gonna pass through. So this needs to have a magnet. So I'm gonna put it right there. And put it a little closer to the edge. Uh, this edge. Okay, I'm liking it. That's page three. Okay, so I took the um, the large journaling card and I cut the center out, and I'm going to make it a pocket. It's it's now a frame uh, that has a pocket behind it, and it is going to go in here. And I put uh, score lines so there's a pocket. So um, basically, cut out the center and then. You're going to trim out a piece that's five, five inches across by six and a half inches tall, and you're gonna score three of the four sides, and the top is gonna to be the opening for the photo that slides in there. And then I'm just gonna stagger it from here, and I'm just looking for what's visually appealing. And this is actually going to get adhered directly to the main pocket page. So I kind of like this, and a part of the reason I'm fussing around with it is because I don't want to cover half a photo. So in the closed position, I'd like for you to see, you know, the main element of whatever's in this photograph. Maybe cut off a little, but not, not too much. Okay, and then on this side, I've made um, another frame um, out of one of the journaling cards, and it's the same same idea as you cut out the center. And the way I did it was I trimmed out the black card stock just as a what, what would be like a pocket. Then I took the journaling card and trimmed out the middle, and then I glued it on top of the black pocket and then cut this out exactly as this was done. Um, and I did that offline. So this, um, I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put it. It could go in here. All of the ephemera cards or journaling cards in this collection, I actually put the opening on the bottom. 
Oh, no, I didn't. It's got words going both ways. Um, all the journaling cards are, are vertical. There's no horizontal ones, which is kind of strange. So I think I might make this a horizontal one and just put it right here. Um, so I need to cover these two pieces. And then when I do, I'm going to add this, even though it's not going the right direction. If you look, the words are kind of going every way. So um, I like this idea. The, the pocket will be open here, and this one, the pocket will be open on top, okay? So let's go ahead and get this one placed, because this one, I'm pretty sure that's what we're gonna do with it. And I'm gonna use glue, just because when you're doing a pocket that things are slipping out in and out of, sometimes um, it'll get stuck on the tape. So it's, it's really preference. And then I'll probably decorate what's inside of it also. Um, and it'll be black on the back and have some designer paper on the front. It doesn't have to be, you know, it could just be a trimmed down photo. It just makes it easier to place it um, when there's some content in it, I think anyway. I'm just eyeballing it, but I am a half inch in, a little over a half inch in. and about a half inch down. Okay, and I'll likely put a little tab on top of this just so it's easier to pull in and out. Let's see, it's getting stuck on something down there. Let me burnish that all down so it's not getting hung up on anything. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> that's in. We can wait on this one because we're going to place it over here after we decorate these. So the next thing was I trimmed out a piece to go here. What was it? Mm, I don't remember. Seems like this was it. Yeah. No, because that's too small. It's not that. Oh, but that is what I trimmed out to go here. Hmm, what's interesting? I think this is what I trimmed out to go here, but it's too narrow. So that's not gonna work for us. So what do I need? I need five. By five, I need a five by five. That'll work, but I don't like it. That works. I'm going to do that here, and then I think I'm going to take another piece of this paper and put it there. So let's get this trimmed out so it fits. Pretty good. Let's ink it and we'll put that down. Now, let's see what do I have. <clears throat> I 
I like this. It's pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and decorate this real quick. Huh. All my ladies' heads are chopped off. <laughs> Let me see if I find, can find one without their heads chopped off. If you look at the back side. I don't think I have anything that big. Maybe. I like this too. How's that going to look in the frame? Pretty colorful. Sorry guys, I got to get it together. Oops, nope, I don't like that. It's right size and everything. Darn near. I feel it getting stuck on something, but I don't know what. Hmm. Oh, I'm not getting under it, that's why. just ridiculous. Why doesn't that want to go in? There it goes. I got to glue down a little, tuck down the corners a little bit better so that doesn't happen. Okay, so I think I was getting underneath the flange and not just the, um, and missing the hinge area altogether. So I think just a little bit of glue here and that'll solve that problem. So there we go. And then I had that triangle, another triangle with this pattern that we're going to introduce over here somewhere. Let's see which one fits better. Hmm. I'm going to have to take a little off either one of them.
to decide where I want to put it. I think it'll go up here. I'm going to turn a little bit more up. Still a little too tall. Okay. That should do it. Yep. Okay. Then I've got one more and I think I'm going to put it inside like so. So it's going to go into the photo area. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is get this covered. I keep wanting to open this. <laughs> I'm used to a flap being on both sides. So I think this needs to be four and a half. Let's double check. Yeah, four and a half inches. So all these are four. And I'm going to go ahead and use this black pattern again. I really like it. I wish I had more of the tan, but I think I already used it all. Uh, when I say tan, I mean the tan pattern paper. The paper that had patterns on it. It's hard to describe. Yeah, yeah, I like it. As soon as I lay it down, I lose my mark. There it is. Too busy, huh? Okay, now where's that flame? Here's my frame. And I was thinking about doing this, but mm, now I like this so much, it's hard to cover up. And I don't like this frame. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not crazy about it. Or that. So we'll just save this for something else. So I do still need to cover the inside here. So give me a minute and I'll get my papers together. Be right back. Okay, I, I picked this beautiful pattern and it is from the 12, 12 by 12 collection. I've got ink everywhere. So I thought I was loving my new craft mat, but I can tell you that I've been using it for less than 10 days and I'm already wearing my grid off. So this was Martha Stewart. So I'm not happy with that. Um, it's gonna get relegated to my my craft luggage where it won't get used very frequently. I gotta get a different craft mat. That's very disappointing. It's just paint and I'm wearing it right off. 
and I haven't even cleaned it yet. <laughs> it's just from sliding the paper around. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, that's looking lovely. Okay, and then I'm going to pull that triangle back in over here, which will look good. A messy workspace today. So page three is very similar. Um, it's got the single flap. Of course, we're gonna design it different. It's gonna have these two things are gonna be consistent, but the rest is gonna be different. Um, when I say these two things, this black pattern and this orange pattern. like those two opposing each other. So I think it would have to go here underneath. That looks kind of funny, so I'm not sure I like that. No. Nope. I don't like any of those. So I might need to rethink that, and that's too busy with this. I don't think I like that either. I think I'm just going to put it right here, open on the bottom, and then I think I might add a couple more. Um, triangles to this page to make it interesting. So this is one of the triangles that I cut out earlier. I think I'm going to add it and you could lay your photo over it or you could tuck part of it under. Yeah. So I'm just going to leave it open-ended. Like so. So your photo could go slightly under it and then you could glue it on top of your photo or um, figure out where do you want to fix it permanently and yeah so you've got a little slide spot on both of them and it makes this a little bit more interesting when you open it up you got this and this i really feel like i need to do something here but it's not this so i may come back with another um photo mat frame idea but it might not be this size um yeah may not be this size. And then I've already cut out and backed this sticker. So I think that's what's gonna be the tab that we pull this in and out with. So the question is, do I want that as a tab or do I wanna leave that little open space? So I have to think about that, but that's definitely what I'm gonna use. And tacking down the two corners solved my problem. So do I want it peeking out top and bottom or do I just want it in the back like so? I don't know. I'll figure that out and then we'll get back together. And then I also made a couple of these banners. I don't know if I'm gonna use these or not. I just felt like I needed to do something else here. What, I don't know. I don't know, I might fuss around with this one a little bit more, but for now we're gonna call it done. I'm gonna put this in the can and uh, upload it, and any changes that I make from here on out, you will see in the walkthrough. See you guys soon.